Hello everyone. Ensuring sufficient access and egress around electrical equipment is of utmost importance in maintaining a safe working environment. In this video, we will delve into the code requirements for providing adequate access and egress when working with electrical equipment operating at 1000 volts or less, as specified in section 110.26. Additionally, we will discuss any changes made to the introductory text under this section. Without any delay, let's dedicate enough space and time for this informative video. Section 110.26, Spaces about electrical equipment states that working space and access to and egress from working space shall be provided and maintained about all electrical equipment to permit ready and safe operation and maintenance of such equipment. Open equipment doors shall not impede access to and egress from the working space. Access or egress is impeded if one or more simultaneously opened equipment doors restrict working space access to be less than 610 mm or 24 inches wide and 2.0 m or 6.5 feet high. In previous versions of the NEC, the text for this section was limited to the statement, Access and working space shall be provided and maintained about all electrical equipment to permit ready and safe operation and maintenance of such equipment. However, it has been a long-standing practice to enforce the requirement for access and working space around all electrical equipment. What are the changes in NEC 2023? In the 2023 edition of the NEC, a revision was made to the introductory text in section 110.26 based on public input. Previously, this concept only applied to large equipment under section 110.26 C2 in the 2020 NEC. The requirement that open equipment doors should not hinder the entry to or egress from the working space was previously specified in the NEC 2020 under the section titled, Large Equipment. According to the previous guidelines, equipment fell under the category of, Large Equipment, if it contained overcurrent devices, switching devices, or control devices and met one of the following criteria. 1. Rated 1200 amperes or more and over 6 feet wide. 2. Service disconnecting means installed in accordance with 230.71 where the combined ampere rating is 1200 amperes or more and over 6 feet wide. However, the revised introductory text in the 2023 NEC now extends this requirement to all electrical equipment with doors, regardless of its size or classification. This means that open equipment doors should not impede the entry to or egress from the working space, irrespective of whether the equipment is classified as large equipment or not. This revision holds significant importance for safety considerations. For instance, there were instances where someone working on an open switchboard could become trapped if the doors of an adjacent switchboard were also open, creating a situation where the person could not safely exit the area in case of an accident. Additionally, Emergency personnel would face difficulties accessing the individual if required. This addition to the introductory text is therefore crucial for ensuring safety. The revised text states that access or egress is considered impeded if one or more simultaneously opened equipment doors restrict the working space access to less than 24 inches wide and 6 and half a foot high. What is the importance of these changes? This change holds significant importance for electrical designers and contractors. It is crucial for contractors to carefully review the plans and actual equipment at the early stages of a project, as it can have an impact on the floor plan of the electrical room, specifically due to the width of the equipment doors. Being aware of this requirement allows for proper planning and adjustments to ensure the floor plan accommodates the necessary access and egress space required by the equipment door. Thank you all for watching.